I just wanted to show my um, my East Guy Big Llama that I modified doing a bunch of um just like do-it-yourself mods from sorry the air conditioner from parts I had um, laying around or parts from my T-Rex 450. Um, this is just a, a uh, canopy for the um, for a T-Rex 450. When the battery's in there, it won't go up. Um, real simple what you need to do with this. I just trimmed a little bit off of here just to make it, it used to come out about here and drill new holes and put the, uh, the grommets in and all you do to get the um, let's see take there was two spots where they had like the, uh, the canopy shoring rods where it would hook up to the canopy. This one down here, that what used to be in this spot, was much longer than the one up here. So all I did was take the one out up here and just grab, take some pliers and grab onto it and pull it right out. And I took the longer one from down there and uh, put it in up here. So it's long enough to connect onto the, uh, the canopy. And this one's kind of banged up. It was just an experiment. This came from my own. Um, my T-Rex 450, one time when I had a pretty good crash, um, the remote died and it went into the house, so, but it's still intact, so I used it. Uh, some other mods I did, um, this is a, the, my tail boom I did, um, it's actually just a 450 tail boom, and what I did was, on the 450 tail housings, there's like a, a separate piece on them. See the blue part? Um, that was from one of the 450 tail housings. It disconnects from the rest of it, and this part went on to the tail and tightened down, and then you could put the, and then actually on this side attached would have been the rest of the tail assembly. Um, I just had them laying around. I used it. It worked pretty well. I just drilled two holes. And the top there, sorry, this is my Samsung Galaxy, so the camera's not wonderful. It's alright, though. Um, drill two holes in the top and put two screws going straight down on the top there. And it fit in really tight um, between the landing gear and that spot. So I just put a dab of super glue down here. Come on. A dab of super glue down here on the, um, the landing gear. And it, it really holds in place. It doesn't wiggle or move or anything. This is just a shortened extra 450 tail boom I had. I just, I didn't take much off of it, maybe an inch or two. Um, same thing on the back. You can see this a little better, um, exactly what part it is. It's the same exact part as the blue one over there, except this one. This would be how it would go on a 450, except the rest of the tail would be bolted to this. This is just like the the mount, the mount part. Um, I just put that on there, tightened it down, took a 450 tail fin, snipped the bottom. I made sure to hold it up and make sure everything's, you know, level. I tried to get it to angle up just a little bit when I was holding the super glue, waiting for it to dry. Um, everything seems pretty good with that. The other mod I did, which, well, there's a couple others, but, of course, the extreme, um, extended shaft. That's a must-have. Period. You just gotta have that. Um, made the forward battery tray, battery holder. This is just made out of one of those plastic containers. And you just drill a couple holes, put the Velcro on that side, you can see the shape of it. I put the double-sided, I mean, um, the electrical tape on the, the Llama battery to fit it in there really tight. That's the only reason that tape's there, and it works really well. It doesn't go anywhere, the battery. Um, and that sits forward, gives it a good, moves the center of gravity forward a lot, so you got to trim it out a little with the swash plate. You can either do that manually or through the remote, either way, it doesn't matter. Um, 
helps with a lot of forward momentum. It flies much better. You can fight wind, actually. Can't do it stock, so. Uh, the only other thing I got is, yeah, I got a Fly Sky receiver in here, because that's bound to my Eternity 9X. And the wiring is the same as the stock receiver, I think. I am running stock motors. I'd like to do the um, brushless upgrade for sure, but I want to keep the board. I don't want to do the boardless like I see a lot of people doing, and I can't find a lot of info on how to wire that up, keeping the stock eSky mixer board. So uh, I'll dig into that and then hopefully make a, a DIY video showing exactly how to do that like step by step because I haven't found anything like that on the internet so other than that that's my llama hopefully you find the tail mods useful if you got a couple of spare T-Rex 450 tails laying around like I did a boom I got so many spare parts for that thing and uh, it actually flies much better in the wind that's for sure with the, the tail boom and this T-Rex canopy Without this stuff, it really struggled in the wind with that stock canopy. It was so flimsy, and it just caught air and just pulled it all over the place. This is much better.